Hey guys, it's Amy. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you are new, welcome to my channel where I love to talk about the modeling industry and all sorts of modeling related stuff. <laughs> for anyone who is interested in becoming a model or people who are just curious about this industry. So if that sounds like you, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post any new videos. The modeling industry has been pretty quiet during the last few months of the circuit breaker or lockdown or whatever it's called where you live. And now that restrictions are starting to ease, it is time that you get to work if you are wanting to start applying to agencies and get into the modeling industry. So today I'm going to give you a little bit of guidance and tell you seven mistakes to avoid when you are applying to a modeling agency after this lockdown. The first mistake that you're going to want to avoid is not being ready. Since we're still technically in the midst of our quarantine right now, this is the best time to get back into fitness and get back in shape so that you can be fully prepared when things actually start to open up. Don't only start to exercise and get back into fitness when the market has already started up. By then, it's already too late, so start now. The modeling industry works super fast, so oftentimes you'll be told of a confirmed shoot the night before or even the morning of. That's happened to me in the past. So you've got to be ready. So don't wait. <laughs> the second mistake that you're going to want to avoid is not checking what each agency's requirements are. So this includes the minimum and maximum height requirement to apply into the agency as well as your measurements. So I'll be talking more about the measurements later. But another thing that I want to point out is you need to know exactly how this particular agency that you're applying to actually accepts applications. Do they accept walk-ins, online application forms? Do they have scheduled open castings that you should be signing up for? Or do they scout on Instagram? The worst thing you can do is give a horrible first impression by not doing your research beforehand. Walking into an agency that doesn't accept walk-ins just sends across the completely wrong message of how professional you're going to be as a model. Now, since it's unlikely that in-person castings are going to happen anytime soon, a lot of agencies have turned to scouting over Instagram or TikTok so be sure to check online what kind of hashtags you need to use, but don't spam agencies. If you do that, it wastes a lot of time on the agency's part, and if they think that you're not taking it seriously, they're just gonna filter you out straight away. The third mistake that you wanna avoid, and this one is a really big one, is not taking your digitals properly. First and foremost, agencies and later on clients are gonna to wanna to see what you look like. So avoid submitting photos where you're in shadowy lighting, where you can't see your features clearly, where you're wearing um, sunglasses that cover half your face. I know my agency has gotten a couple of those. It's best not to wear too much makeup because agencies want to know exactly what you look like naturally. And it's also not a good idea to submit digitals that are very outdated. So if you have a completely different hair length or a completely different hair color, you don't want to send in a picture that doesn't even look like you. Taking good digitals is actually super simple. All you need is a relatively decent camera. So your phone is totally fine. You just need to be in a place that has adequate lighting. So in front of a nice window or sometimes even outdoors might be a good option. You should be standing in front of a light colored plain background in a black tank and jeans and just simple black heels with minimal makeup and natural hair. That's the way to go. Two of my previous videos I did up actually address exactly what kind of makeup you should be wearing and what outfits you should be wearing for castings. And so I definitely recommend giving those two videos a watch because they give some pretty good pointers that you could totally use for your digitals as well. The fourth mistake that is pretty common is not measuring yourself properly. Whenever you apply into agencies, they will always ask for your measurements because they need to make sure you fit within the minimum and maximum range. And there are actually a lot of resources online that can teach you how to take your measurements properly. But basically, as a general guideline, you want to give three measurements, your bust, waist, and hips. So you want to take a soft measuring tape, not one of those hard ones, and measure around the fullest part of your chest, and this applies to guys as well fullest part of your chest, the narrowest part of your waist, and the fullest part of your butt. I totally understand the need to want to under-report your measurements because I have definitely wanted to do that in the past, but when you do a photo shoot, you're not going to be able to hide what your actual measurements are. Best thing that you can do is just be honest, and if you feel like you're not ready, then go back to tip number one, which is work out and get in shape. <coughs> 
Ugh. All right, moving on. The fifth mistake that you're gonna to want to avoid is using inappropriate email etiquette. And this applies over Instagram as well. Basically, any medium of communication that you're going to be having between yourself and the agency. The way you present yourself in any form of communication is incredibly important because it says a lot about how you'll be presenting yourself in person as well. So make sure you're speaking in a professional tone and you're using correct grammar, correct spelling, and also that you're not sending multiple emails in a row. So double and triple check every single email or text or DM that you're sending to an agency to make sure that all the information you want to send is there because agencies get a lot of emails and the chances of them actually filtering through all of them just to see like the first email and then the second one, oh sorry, you know, I forgot to attach my photo. Third one, oh sorry, this isn't actually, I made a mistake in the previous one, this is my correct, you know, contact number. They're not gonna do that. So just make sure that you triple check everything before you actually send it. You also don't wanna sound too eager. I've heard some feedback from my agencies overseas before that when they get emails from aspiring models who say that they'll do anything to become a model, it makes them a little bit worried because they don't know what you mean by anything. And that kind of raises a red flag in the sense that they are not so keen on signing a model that might compromise the integrity and reputation of the agency just to get a job. Taking rejection personally, oh boy. <laughs> this can be kind of difficult. I mean, there is honestly no point in arguing with an agency that has already said that you're not going to be a good fit for their team because you'll be starting off a potential working relationship on the wrong foot. But also, although agents can be a little bit harsh sometimes, at the end of the day, they are the experts and they know what kind of clients that they have and whether or not you'll be a good fit to join their roster of models. Jumping through hoops and trying really, really hard to convince them otherwise just doesn't work. <laughs> the best thing to do is just swallow your tongue and move on to your next appointment with another agency. It's okay, it happens, it's not the end of the world. Finally, the last mistake that I want to address that you should avoid when you're applying to agencies is giving up way too soon. Modeling might not happen for you within a day, within a week, maybe even a month. When I first moved to London, I went to go sees with, I think it was five or six different agencies before I finally got signed to Wilhelmina. So if I just stopped after my first, second or third rejection, I wouldn't even have had an agency in London. And a lot of models can tell you this, it's not always going to happen for you on the first try. But if this is really something that you're passionate about and this is really a career that you want to pursue, just keep trying. Keep reaching out to different agencies because different agencies have different kind of clients that they tend to work with until you find the right fit for you. And that's it. Those are the seven mistakes that you should avoid when you're applying to agencies after this lockdown. I hope you guys learned a little something and I wanted to wish you all the best in your modeling endeavors. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe and I will see you next week.